Hello and welcome to WASP 3D Feature Tutorial. Blast is an extension tool, for creating real-time blast effect, with control over gizmo movement and related dynamics. Let's begin by creating a sphere. Next, create a blast. Then, hide the sphere. Now, select Blast and press F4 to go to Parameters Pool. There, select Sphere as source object for Blast. The explosion radius, specifies the size of the bomb gizmo. The bomb location, defines the bomb location along the X, Y and Z coordinates. Intensity parameter, defines how the powerful the explosion shall be. Flake size minimum parameter, defines the minimum flake size of the exploding object. Whereas, the flake size maximum, defines the maximum flake size of the exploded object. Flake extrude, specifies the depth of each fragment of the exploding object. The spin parameter, specifies the rate of revolution of each fragment, of the exploding object, in the relevant axis. The variation in spin, applies a random variation to the rate of revolution, of each fragment of the exploding object. Explosion Dynamics Gravity, defines gravity along X, Y and Z axis. External Forces, allows to specify the external forces, like wind and gravity, for the blast. Now we create a deflector plane and select it as an external object. Once done, position the plane. Now, select deflector plane and adjust the dampness as required. Now, let's import a 3D object. Here, we have imported a 3D model of a football. Adjust the colors of the football from the material pool. Next, create a blast. Define the football as the source object. Please note that if single node option is selected, only parent object will be affected by the blast. When the group node is selected, parent object as well as child objects will be affected by the blast.
Now, modify other parameters as required to achieve the desired effect of blast. 